Yes, I would, actually. Come to think of it, recommend a trade show for that. Let's just go and have a bit of a play and see what we can do. Now, this is gonna this is probably gonna completely backfire, but let's go for it anyway. Let me see how I can do this. Somebody give me a niche on Amazon and let's go and see if we can find how to find some products. Let's go and find some a niche on Amazon and let's go and see if we can find something on Amazon to do that with. All right, what have we got? What have we got? Oh my goodness. It's a it's a cascade of craziness. Let's have a quick look. What's in here? Da, 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 da. Home and garden. Who's that? Scotty. All right, Scotty. Scotty says home and garden. So let's choose home out of that. And let's just make it a little bit more targeted. Uh, and because I'm in France, let's pick food, okay? So let's do food. So, um, uh, well, in Australia, it's actually pretty easy to find lots and lots of trade fairs for food. Uh, all you need to do is go to, um, uh, 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 what is the name of it called? Oh, yes, I remember it now. Go to, here we go, that'll do it. <coughs> Food Service Australia. Now that is a uh, trade show for restaurateurs, for chefs, and for food service professionals. All right. So uh, as you can see, the next one's coming up in 2019 in Melbourne at the Convention Center. It'll be awesome. Uh, it's definitely worth a look. But if you are of the impatient type, and I hope that you are, then all you need to do is go to the exhibitor list and just go and see who has planned to exhibit there. Now, for 2019, they haven't got their exhibitor list up, but they've got their 2018 exhibitor list up. So we can go and check out all the people who are uh, selling B2B, business to business, in this particular niche uh, who have attended this trade show, aka they're perfect for you to buy some products from. They're perfect for you to buy some products from or for you to get some ideas for some products from. Now, here's a little tip that you may not have thought about. Uh, a lot of these manufacturers, if you say to them, can I private label your product? You will freak them the hell out. They will not know what you mean and they'll freak out and they'll just instantly say no, no. However, if you say to them, do you mind if I rebrand your product and put my own logo on it, you'll get a much different response because now you're talking their language. They understand. Oh, you just want to pre-brand? No worries. No worries. Absolutely, you can do that. And that's how you do private label for things like that, all right? But you should, I think, smart idea, number one, coming right at you. Here we go. Start with wholesaling. Wholesale a small amount. I don't know, 20, 30 units, something like that. See if it will sell. If it sells, boom, then you private label. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. So I would start there. Now, the other thing you could look at as well, and there's trade shows about trade shows in Australia. There's a trade show about trade shows. You wouldn't believe it, but hell, there is. Uh, you could also look at things like uh, the Grow It, which is awesome. By the way, that's another thing I talk about in that training program. I believe it is thegromit.com. Let's just tell. Oh my goodness, the power of the memory. You want to come to thegromit.com, which is a new and innovative marketplace in the US of A. And I use it all the time to find awesome new product ideas that have not hit Amazon yet. And it really, really works very, very well. So you could also go check out the Gromit as well, because that's kind of cool. And that works really, really well. Uh, please do check out the Gromit. It's freaking awesome. Uh, last one I want to give you, just because I'm feeling kind of sexy tonight, is Kickstarter. And I think that's at kickstarter.com. You definitely want to go and check out Kickstarter. Again, 
new, innovative products that are looking to get funding to get themselves scale. Well, you can get tons and tons of ideas here. How do you decide what to sell? How do you decide what's going to be expensive? Sorry, uh, it's going to sell. Well, easy. Look at what gets funded and you want to choose things that get funded. If they don't get funded, nobody gives a rat's ass about them. If they do get funded, hey, your squid's in. Your quid's in. You'll get yourself off and running, no dramas at all. So Kickstarter, also really, really good place to find products. So there, I've given you three awesome options. The Grommet. Uh, also Kickstarter, which is fantabulous, and trade shows, which are also awesome. And I told you that the best way to do trade shows, if you can't rock up to them yourselves, which is, you know, surprising if you're in Australia and the trade shows in Australia. But if you can't do that, then go through the suppliers list, look at their products, and choose something. Start by wholesaling it. Hey, can I sell your product for you? Of course you can. Yeah, how many units do you want? Oh, I just want 20 or 30 units. No worries. Here you go. Once you know it's working, you can ask them if you can put your logo on it. If they won't let you, then you go to China and get your own version of it built. It's as simple as that. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia and how to source them so you pay bottom, bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much, much more. It's the exact same information that people like Jeff from New South Wales I've used to make $45,000 a month on Amazon that Sue, who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business. And the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon. And indeed, Anthony, who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon, selling, as he puts it, odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now.